I don't talk about it at all. You won't meet a more soft-spoken young man. Or hard-hitting. And there's Ross. Justin Ross. Quiet and unassuming. Yet in your face, at least on the volleyball court, it's because of his loud presence there that his story is still being shouted from the rooftops. I wasn't expecting it at all. It's been 10 years since the London native first stepped onto the court at Niagara College, but memories of the amazing things he accomplished here haven't faded. Not for him, and certainly not the school he so finely represented. Phone call from the athletic director and my coach, just kind of congratulations on what to expect. Between 2000 and 2004, there were few better in the college game than Justin. All-star honors, scoring titles, championships, MVP nods, all part of the package this lanky star assembled. So special what he did, this is what they did. It's life-size. Niagara College just made Justin a member of its Hall of Fame or wall of fame. You look up there on the wall and it's this giant banner of my picture, my face, and it says all Canadian 2003, 2004 with my name. Cause there's only five people in the school who've been all Canadians. What a feeling. After all this time, still admired and cared for. I went up uh, for the, the induction ceremony and got to see everybody again. It was tough not to just break down just seeing them. The school is one thing. The provincial league, well, that's another achievement. A week after Justin earned immortality at Niagara, the OCAA opened its hall doors to him as well. well there were 37 inductees there through the, the three different categories, athletes, coaches, and builders. Definitely a big to-do in the Royal York. They did it up for us, that's for sure. This whole experience of appreciation has left Justin near speechless. Fitting, considering it was he who once left them speechless, and with no choice but to honor his greatness. Same here. Hey Justin, we just had to. You're our Athlete of the Week.